Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Montez with cameras from itsmontez.com. Thank you so much for tuning into this live. Pretty sure you're wondering what exactly we're going to be talking about because there's not a lot inside the description box. But if you have read the title, you do know that I'm interviewing Pretty sure the great you're wondering game. What exactly we're going to be I actually need to go back over here and pause inside the sound. Keep on forgetting I've got to pause that. But nevertheless, uh, if you've read the title, you know exactly uh, who, who I am speaking with, the great game. Um, we're going to actually go and get in depth about who he is, what he does, um, and, and how you all might be able to benefit from some of the services and, and things that uh, he provides, the knowledge, the wisdom. So without further ado, oh, oh, you know what? Matter of fact, before we, before we go inside of there, I actually want to tell you all, we are live, so yo, 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 the white Tupac, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm also going to give you a wrench because um, you gave me a wrench. You deserve a wrench. Uh -huh. But, uh, again, we are live, so I can see you inside the chat box. If you have a comment, if you have something you want to say, if you've got a question you want to ask, uh, you can you can do so. And I'll, I will definitely um, ask the question out loud uh, for, for you to the great day. Um the great thing. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having me, bro. What's tell up, us, man. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy tell us. Oh, my bad. My bad. Go ahead. No, I was just saying blessings up to the new year. Oh, yes. We, we new, made it. Well, how was your new year? It was lovely, man. I just, you know, sat back, puffed on a lot of these trees and sipped on some of this Hennessy and shit. You know what I mean? It was lovely. I can't complain. Another year, we in here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen where you're from, what it is that you do, and uh, kind of go into a spill about who you are. Yes, sir. Okay. First and foremost, my name is Great Dane, and I'm from Cali. I'm out here in the West Coast. I'm from Frisco, from Filmo. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you heard of that one. Rapping Forte, Quinn, Messi, Mar all there's a whole list of them. But I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm another giant from out here. And uh, what I'm doing on this thing is I'm trying to boost our name, our hit entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And what I do, since I recorded all them homies from my city, you know what I'm saying? Big up, much love to all of them for that. Now I got to branch out. I got to branch out. You know what I'm saying? I got to get collabs from serious artists from down south, from the east. I got to get serious artists that's, you know what I'm saying, trying to get their name out there that's trying to deliver some good music. You know what I'm saying? So me and Montez connecting on here, and you know what I'm saying? Now we're just trying to make it grow, trying to get it bigger and better. I make beats, you know, I put in verses, you know, just a little baby producer, baby little wannabe mogul, <laughs> trying well, to put some paint where it is. I'm, tell, I'm telling you what, though, from what from what I've seen, what I do, what I do know. I mean, again, ladies and gentlemen, you all know that uh, I I don't have boring individuals on this channel. I don't have anything that's going to uh, get you lost in the sauce. But, I, but I do make sure that you have someone that's going to be on this channel that's going to educate you, and put you out. Man, I tell you what, I I'm into what you do. I liked I liked what you had to offer. Um, and 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 again, like I just knew that you had a lot of knowledge, a lot of power to spill out and tell people about. Tell us a little bit about the company. Okay. Well, what it is, it's an underground based recording digital production. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I'm saying here is, you got to excuse me, folks. I'm still lit from last night. But what it is, it's a team of producers and artists. You know what I'm saying? We publish music and we network. So basically, it's that music, you know what I'm saying? It's more like the 90s feel, your latest trap, computerized music, but we mix it together. I mix it with, because, you know, a lot of people want to hear the modern contemporary styles, and I blend it with the old school raps, you know what I'm saying? I, we, we rap with the same pace, the same tempo that I was raised. I'm not from Atlanta or wherever they created that style from, so I got to keep going with the originators, pay homage to the big dogs from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? So. We just keep going along the same way, you know, that classic Bay Area rap style. Mm. The, the mob beats that hit like doo -doo -doo -doo. the long, hard bass lines and, you know what I'm saying, just that, that Killer Cali style, you know what I'm saying, the San Francisco, 
you know, Oakland, San Francisco, Vallejo, you know, it's in the West Coast, NorCal flavor. That's that's what I'm bringing to y'all, mixed in with the contemporary trap sound. Because, you know what I'm saying, if I can't keep using them old sounds from the Triton and the, and the uh, MPC, so we got to move it up. They got this new shit called Machine Merco, you know. They got, man, it, it just keeps evolving and changing, it, and I'm just trying to stay up with the times, you know. Now, how how are you staying up with the times? Like again, I got uh, matter of fact, ain't Mozzie ain't Mozzie uh, in your location, right? Uh, that that's another homie from up north. He from up north. I heard of him. You know what I'm saying? He's doing anything. thing. Yeah, they from Sacramento somewhere up that way. But I'm I'm in San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, no, no. But but how do you keep how do you keep up to how do you keep up to date with uh, all the music that's coming out? Do you have like a certain Place that you like to go and uh, download your music, hear new music, or or where you where are you going to keep yourself up to date? Well, really, I don't really listen to none of the artists because I don't want nobody saying I bit them or I stole any of their stuff. But you know what I'm saying? I I glance through, I tap in, I look online because everything is happening online now. It's all digital. You know what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any perfect place that you any perfect place though that you like to use like. Like, like Twitter? Oh, well, my main platform is Facebook. Because on Facebook, I get those groups. And in groups, they allow me to expand to, like, different different areas, different cities. And then when I'm in those groups, I get to meet different producers. And I meet different artists. So that's my main lane is Facebook. You know what I'm saying? People on Instagram is different than people on Twitter. The people on Twitter is different from the people on YouTube. Everybody on every lane is different. But mine's, I got it. I dominate on Facebook. So if you want to look for me on there, it's Dane Williams. Debbie, Dane Debbie, Williams. Debbie Lane TV said Facebook good. Yeah, Facebook is a good is a good way to uh, get your get your content out there. Now speak to us a little bit about uh, the groups thing. Go, go into depth about the groups because I'm pretty sure um, some people – may have an understanding but may not understand it to to the ability that you do um talk to us a little bit about uh how how important and how you can use the groups to to uh enhance which what what someone might be doing okay the thing about the groups is that you're putting it in front of however many people your content you're posting it inside of a group in front of a mass amount of a large audience so people will scroll through it and then they'll see your, your name and your content again. And then if they go to another site, they see it on there, on there. But the importance of the groups is people are following you. Like people that want that kind of music, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, they like to download anything that's new out there these days. So if you're consistent and you keep coming with new music, you got good quality, good vibes, and they recognize you, they'll grasp on to you. So in the groups, and then I add those people, and a lot of them are resources. That that's how I bumped into you. To keep it real, you know, in, in the group, I created a group. You you can create a group, and there's going to be people that want to join. Now you know what that's that, that's real. That's real, real powerful. Creating a group. Uh, and again, there's there's not a lot of people really go in depth with this, and I love. Where you're going with this? It's so powerful. I, mean, uh, I ain't got nothing to lose and nothing to hide. I mean, I, all I want is y'all to just know who I am and support my music. Create a group, and when you create that group, then people gonna want to come in there. And then you, you know, what I'm saying you introduce yourself, you present to them in their inbox your music. You tell them what you want. You say hit my like page. You know, subscribe to my channel. Give me some feedback. And you know, a lot of the times, hell of a life. Fucking fake profiles, you be, you know what I'm saying? It's all a mind thing. But you keep digging, and you a hunter, and you gonna find your prey. You gonna know what you're doing. Now look at me and you right now. Today we on here right now live. Spill yeah, it, yeah, spill yeah. The uh, Liberty, Liberty Bell Childs, uh, Ch Chillets, Liberty Bell Chillets says hi everyone. And uh, Debbie Lynn TV says, do you post just the music? Or do you like it if it's rap or just put all that kind? Like, do, do you post just rap in the group or is there all sorts of different music inside the group? I think that's what she's asking. It's a wide variety of all kind of music. Different kind of, I mean, I, I add all the people who want to join me. 
You know what I'm saying? So we, we got people in there doing bluegrass. You got people in there doing uh, rock and roll. You got artists in there with, you know, music from whatever genre they prefer. I just keep them in there to have the traffic going. You know what I'm saying? It's called Hard Hit ENT. And, um, you know, it's just different different artists, different music, different genre, all, all of it in like one big mixing pot. You said Hard Hit, H-I-T-T? Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's H-A-R-D-H-I-T-T. -T. -T. Hard Hit e That's it, exactly. All right. Well, I just posted this inside the uh, inside the chat room again, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you go and check that out. So, uh, with the groups, then you just really been able to build traction then and been able to. I guess I guess it makes sense though because because you have a a place that you've kind of now. How how did you how did you uh with the name of the group? How are you still bringing traffic to with the name? Like, how did you you see what I'm saying? What do you mean, like? Like how how, well it's hard hit, E and T. How are you driving people? Are you just inviting people, or how are you making the people notice that there's a group here? How are you how are you allowing people? Hey, look here, I have a group. You know how how are people knowing that there's a group there? Okay, well it's like the water overflow system of like a radiator. You know how the radiator is like the main tank. And then you have the, the overflow. It's like that. I have another group. And, and people want to join the first group. And if they pass stage one, then I add them into the hard hit group. Hard hit ENT is a secret group. And the only way that you can get into that is me and you have to converse. And I have to put the stamp on it and add you to it. Oh, so you now know? you're doing selective, selective uh, choosing. Who's Again, like, and I think that's very important. Not to say yes to everything, you know what I mean? You can't, not everybody's somebody that you want to be trying to network with. You know what I mean? There's just, it's just not that. So, so I like how you're talking about uh, picking uh, the certain kind of, are you, are you cool enough? You know what I'm saying? Like, do we function on this level to where I'm going to bring you to behind the doors? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, that's very wise. And, but why, what, tell us why you do that. Because you don't know if this is, a fake, a, crack, a fake account or, you know what I'm saying, somebody has just playing on the thing, you got to make sure that they really are, are tuned into what you're presenting to them. You know what I'm saying? If they hit the like button and going along with what I'm saying, asking them to do, then I, and I like their music, of course, then I say, okay, this is a connection that I made. So I add them as a friend. I'll take some a non-supporter off of the list, somebody who you, you never see them give it up, who, you know what I'm saying? They got to go. They got to go, and then I, I just add out with the old and in with the new. So that, you know what I'm saying? I, it, it's like fishing. It's like you're going out fishing. You know what I'm saying? So I go from one group, mm. people that want to join it. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They want to join the group. He said, and I inbox them. You like, said it's like fishing? Exactly. You In this era, in this day and time, you can't just be a good artist that know how to rap. It's a whole package. You got to go out there and be a hunter. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to present your music to everything. It got to be everywhere. You got to be promoting your own shit too. Sit around and expect your skills to get you, you know what I'm saying? You got to be opening doors, knocking on doors. That's what I use those groups for. And it, it, it's getting... It's getting to the point to where it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's getting out of control. So I need somebody like you to help me. Hold me down, dog. Hold me down. Shit. Right. right. <laughs> I love I love it because because I, I, you just watch, you build it, let it overflow. And now you 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 have an intimate, you have an unlimited amount of a fuel to to do pretty much whatever it is that you want to do. Now, granted, all the resources are there. You get all the resources that you can use that, you know, you weren't able to, along the way, get a hold of. Like, I'm, I'm able to meet graphic designers. I'm able to meet other artists that have, you know what I'm saying, good flows. And I'm able to meet, you know, people that can promote it. So in those groups is where you have to be. It's, it's the traffic. You can't just have a one page and just be putting shit on top of one post. No, you have to be traffic on that internet, you know. So pow, 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 traffic, traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, you just now found 
uh, very, very easy and free way to generate massive amounts of traffic. I know that you all have been seeing me drop videos uh, on, 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 on the YouTube talking about go get a backlink and create backlinks for more traffic to your YouTube videos or maybe even like maybe you should try this to get more traffic. But this way that you just heard by Great Dane is so, so unbelievable. I mean, again, you can have a limited amount of traffic if you build yourself a group. Uh, and you just heard how it, it how to do so. So 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 again. Yes, and you have all these people in your group. They're gonna one person post something. You go in and hit like. It's gonna send off an alert, and it's a domino effect. The rest of the day, everybody they're gonna see that, and then they're gonna be posting their shit, and they want you to listen to them. You hit like. You know, you listen. You can get a song done. You can get a verse done. You can get a project done. It's, it's the proofs. That's just it. Just kills it. Kills it out. Now again, like um, I think I think this is a great thing to touch on, uh, because we're 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 in in such a such a nice uh, uh I'd say vibration. I'd say now, it it, it kind of seems like um maybe sometimes it was like man I want to help other people but man I ain't gonna be liking their stuff because it's not my music or I've had some people be like uh, I've got a studio but. I don't want to record nobody else in it because it's my competition or, you know, sometimes some people will be like, well, I want to, I want to work with, but I like, I, I won't use my camera to film this person because then it's going to make them better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so at some point in time, like, I think, I think that, um, I, I don't even know how to call that, uh, not maybe envy, jealousy, maybe, I don't know how to call that, you know, but I think that's something that people have to get over. Now, now, tell us, tell us, like, how, how did you get over that that small mindset? How did you get over that? It's the passion and the drive that you have for yourself. Nobody is gonna do nothing for you better than you're gonna do for yourself. So you can't expect the next man to be sharing your shit. <laughs> you know, it's all a race. It's all a race, and it's no no matter how dope or how phony your shit is, it's all about how you promoting it and how you getting it out there in somebody's ear, in somebody's face. So I just decided to use this system for what it's worth and what it can do. If it'll let me upload albums to iTunes, the light turns green, I'm going. I won't sit around and wait for nobody's permission. Can I put out an album that if the computer is coming on, I turn on and it's doing it, you know, just let, just let me go. And I don't compete with nobody because we're all different. Every artist is different and you appeal to the fans. The fans like what they want. They'll download what they want. So they only get what you present to them. If, if you don't present nothing, then there's nothing for them to listen to. So at the end of the day, nothing for nothing leaves nothing. <laughs> so, you know, I, have, I had to present something for the people to let them know that, you know, I exist out here. Great Danes, you dig? Bling! <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Now, now, what, what about you, uh, motivation? Speak to us a little bit about motivation. What motivates you uh, to do what exactly you do? What motivates me, man, is I just like getting up every day. I like looking forward to the next day. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's no stopping. It's no stopping it. It's going to just keep us going. What keeps me motivating is the sound that I have and the style. And I like coming up with something different to add, like add to the box, add to the set, add to the collection, add to the catalog. I just like to have more, to make making it grow. Just making it grow. That's, that's really like you know what keeps me driving. And I got two sons, two little beautiful twins, and they they always on my mind. So that's just keeping me for the future. I always be liking to think about the future. You know what I'm saying? For the, so you know what I'm saying. By the time they get older, they be like, oh yeah, my dad put it down back in the day. Where was you? What did you do? You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to lay down a foundation so that way my children have a legacy, something that they could you know something for me that they could fall back on. 
And plus, I just want to ha actually put, have some good music and put it out there that you know people appreciate. Uh, uh, I like, I like, I like, I like it. I mean, again, like I think, I think if you have a, a good reason for the motivation, then it's able to push. I mean, I guess like sincerity is the drive for the creation. Would you? Could you agree with that? Yes, sir. For instance, like that song that I had let you hear, the one I introduced you to, the way that me and you met is called Youngster. Uh huh. Okay. Now I'm 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 not a youngster no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm 40, 42 years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old man now. But um, I've been through. You know, I just rap about the experiences that I've been through. That's why we made one called Youngster. And, and you know, so you listen to that song. It's that Great Day featuring Young Ghost. It's called Youngster. And that's on YouTube right now. We got the album out on iTunes. But, you know, when you listen to my music, it's more like an OG with his back against the wall telling you, not nah, youngster, don't go that way because I've already been over there. Or if you do this, youngster, this is what's going to happen. You know, more like, like somebody spitting some wisdom to him, you know? Uh, Young Byron News, thank you so much for tuning in. Young Byron News said, uh, what up, what up? Um, and we also, too, have Debbie Lynn TV. She's watching as well. Um and and she's she's enjoying the interview as well. Uh, yeah, like 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 I like I like I really enjoyed the music because it um the substance, very very substance. It, it had so much of it, and maybe it's from the location that's where you're at. Maybe maybe, but but also too, I I can't really say that I I hear music from your location that isn't that isn't very uh, substantial. You know what I mean? Like you don't really hear. Yeah, you know, so like, so like, for for you, what kind of artists were you listening to growing up? What 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 allowed you to put so much substance? I'm sure the lifestyle, uh, your life, you know, the lifestyle, things like this, that that has a lot to do with, uh, you know, how you write your music. But for you, I think, uh, you know, I, well, for me, I think that when I listen to music, it, it gives me more motivation to write some kind of way or to. But so, tell us about you. What 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 got you to writing and creating the content like you do? Well, it all started from growing up in the streets in the San Francisco Bay. You know, what I'm saying from San Francisco to Oakland, back and forth, and then within those cities, there's these all these, these little turfs and in communities. And within those communities, you got you know what I'm saying legends like Cool Nut, you know, you know people like Selski and JT the Bigger Figure and Rapping Forte and, and you know what I'm saying Too Short and all of them that came from out here, you know what I'm saying? And um, you just grow up under those, under the wings, you know what I'm saying? Under those legends like that. And it all just rubs off on you. It just rubs off on you. And then, you know, so you come along and you, you know, you want to do your own thing. And you want to get heard too. You want to get heard too. You know, there's people out there that appreciate your swag and, and appreciate, you know, your stories that you bring. Like I always was a fan of Donald Goins. I, you know, read a lot of the books like Donald Goins would have had when I had did. You know, I, I went to the pen before, so I'm one of them real ones that can sit up here and, and narrate a story and tell you the truth. You know, so when I was sitting in the pen, I read a lot of them stories like Dolphine and Trick Baby and you know, what I'm saying? whatever the books that Donald Goins would come out with. So, and I, you know, I, I got involved with. I was interested in an artist that would be able to publish a product that would carry some weight over time. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing with the music. It's just an art format that we would be able to put down on an audio form, an MP3 nowadays. It went from a CD, a cassette to a CD, to now we uploading it on these sites. Right. And you, know, you get more than just the song, you get the, the real actual nigga that made the song, you know what I'm saying? You get, you get, you get to sit down and have a drink with me on New Year's and shit. And, and okay. talk about yeah, yeah, the real, the real, it's like right here, the real, the real, real deal. Like, like so, 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 uh, you spoke a little bit about um, uh, being being locked up, been in the pen, right? So, being in from then till now, would you say, would you say that it probably helped you be a better person than who you are today, or would you say it took time away from what you were doing? Now, nah, when when I had to sit down and do my time, that that made me reflect, and it made me think. It actually made me a, a better person. It was a, a change for the better for me. Call, you know what I'm saying? With 
with 24 hours a day, what you gonna do with yourself? And I just was talk, so in tune to my music, just so in tune to my music and you know, really nobody out here getting no record deals no more. It's just, just it's like they just throw you all the tools you need and just place you on the internet and say, swim. You know what I'm saying? So I was just, just trying to take what I can and, and, and just go for what I know and go, you know? Yeah. New, it's a new album I put out, 20 tracks. It's called Been Through Bullshit by Great Dane. It's up there. It's 20 tracks on it. And, and y'all wouldn't know about it if you didn't hear it coming out of my mouth right now. It's not a blimp flying across the sky because I don't have, we don't have that kind of advertisement. <laughs> right, right. Advertisement nowadays is like, it's nowhere near to where it, it was. Like, it's it, it's kind of, it's just mind bottling how many people you can you can touch and, and really, really get in tact with. I mean, through like even the group, the groups are, or, or, or it's just unbelievable what you can do if you have have uh, social media accounts. What do you think about, have you heard of LinkedIn? Uh, Debbie Lynn TV uh, says, I do think if you want to go pro, you should join LinkedIn. I hooked, I hooked up with uh, country singers from the radio using LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn. Um, I, I think that it's a, it's a, a pretty good platform uh, when it comes to talking to a lot of different business people. Have you, have you, uh, have you heard of LinkedIn? Do you use it? Yeah, I'm already on there. I'm on there, but the thing about it is that I dominate on Facebook, and that's my lane. On LinkedIn, a lot of new sites, man, they don't really want to publish. I mean, you know, they don't want to produce. What I'm, what I'm saying here is they don't help us push the music that we have. With like, some of them, some of them don't really is not really interested in this kind of music. You know what I'm saying? On mm. on, on LinkedIn, it's it's like you know, it's just not the like, lane. Right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just my luck on there. But th that person said they had luck with country music. When I right. get on there with rap, with this rap music, it's not that many people interested in that. I, I turn back to the groups on Facebook, and I, I seem to grow faster there myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, uh, Debbie Lynn TV, if you have some advice, because me too, like, you know, it's something that I've ran into because it's so true. Um, I, I do work with a, a couple artists that I've, I've done music with, uh, Brandon Maddock, he's he's a country artist, and and, and it seems like uh, a lot of people it's not so hard to convey the things across when when using LinkedIn. I, I that is that is a very good point that you bring up there. It's not, it's almost like the people aren't very as as accepting. I don't know. So Debbie Lynn TV, if you find if you got something some advice to put in on that, drop it down in there for us because I would love to have it. I'd love to be able to use it myself just because like. Well, knowledge is power. But anyway, um, back on back onto this interview. Tell us about tell us about uh, the young you. What was a young you like? Yeah, I, I think about that a lot too. Cause I'm like, shit. If we had these camera phones back in when I was twenty something, <laughs> more wild, be more wild and 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 more exciting having them on the edge of their seat. But shit, now I got two kids that um, you know, so they can't be really out there wilding like that. And, these camera phones wasn't out there then. Right. So what I can do right now is connect with a brother like you and me, and you can go on the on, on the underground and, and, and you know through these signals and links and connect with the fans and the artists and you know what I'm saying whoever got an ear trying to you know tap in and hear what we doing right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think uh, I think me as a, as a younger kid with the camera. Well, I, we did have cameras, but it wasn't it wasn't very. Uh, I, I guess the resolution wasn't very clear, so it wasn't really. Now nah, we had, yeah, it was the beepers and all that stuff back in the days. You, you know, so we was looking up the Easy E and them and, and how Ice Cube and them was doing things and shit back then. You know what I'm saying? And what's now, your what, what's your age now? Yeah, you know, I'm 42. So when when you listen to me, it's not like you're listening to no old ass man. You're still listening to an OG that got you know what I'm saying that's young at heart. As you know what I'm saying? You're gonna, yeah, you're going to definitely like what, what I got for you. For real, you're going to fuck with it. Hey, man, I, tell you, I, 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 think, I, think, I think it's, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to, you're going to really enjoy it. Um, I've, I've, I've had the chance to listen to, to some of the music that he does have, and I haven't been able to sit down and listen to a lot because, like you all know, I am, I am busy. But, uh, it, yeah, you're going you're gonna to enjoy the, what he has for you all. At this, at his table, <laughs> y'all gonna enjoy it. 
Now tell us tell us a little bit about uh, uh, the artists that you that you kind of help out, the artists that you work with, uh, some of the people uh, that that you that you network with. Tell us tell us some of the about the people. Yes, some of the people that's featured on this one, like I got my boy from out there from the East Coast. His name Infamous Lace. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That, that's a brother that I connected with the same way through these. Like I'm telling you about these groups, you know. You inbox them your music if they listen to it, and, and they respond. It, it, it's a connection. So, so me and the young brother connected like that. He on my album too. It's called Welcome to the Slums, and that's Infamous Lace. Any of you fans that, that want some new music, that's, that's a good one right there. Download it. And um, you know, what I'm saying that's a solid brother from the East Coast over there. You know what I'm saying? He got a, a mean game plan. You know what I'm saying? With a uh, baby love music. That's that's they uh, squad over there, you know what I'm saying? I'm great, dang hard hit ENT over here. I got my brother Money the Monster. It's some other people on mine, but now we, we reach now. You know, we talking about different artists that I connected with. Uh, who else is it? We got my brother Noodles. He out there in Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? We, we got man, it's, uh, Bootzilla is on that thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like another East Coast guy that's representing that side of the, of the map over there. Uh, shit, who else? I got King Tut. King Ted is another serious artist from Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? Out, out there that, in that region on, on the globe. And um, yeah, it, it's a nice album. It's 20 tracks, and it's called Been Through Bullshit. And that, it's on iTunes right now. So so people that's listening that want some new quality music, it's 20 tracks. Go up there, search for it. You know, it's something to hold you through the... Okay, it's not just some one song, and, and, and you go, oh, that was cool. What's next? No, it's a whole album. Okay, 20 songs with titles like um, Lil T-Bone Coming Home. Okay, that, that's something that, that, that's an uh, interesting tune. How you going to edit your seat right here? Look. That's going to be T-Bone Coming Home. You know what I'm saying? There's one for you right here. Uh, what else we got on there? Uh, shit, who else? I, mean, I got I got a few people on there. Who I got my boy Jaws, a youngster that's coming up out of that, that um, Reno and Pittsburgh, from, you know what I'm saying, over here at the West Coast. He on there with me on this tune called After That. Sample that I looped up. We got it on there sounding real clean with the little the little hi hats going. You, you know how the beats is these days. I got the little beat sounding all. Uh, where my drink? Uh, uh, <laughs> now it's, it's, it's like, it seems like you got a lot of a lot of people that. And again, you said you you brought all this through the groups of Facebook. All this networking through the groups. Well, also some you know real real cats from the city. That I went and got up on there, like, like who else? I, I got my boy Snoop Deuce. It's another artist on there named Snoop Deuce. He you on know, a song on there with, with me and my brother named Money the Monster. You know, what I'm saying whoever followed me, they they already know that you know. So the, the, the dudes, they melt down mics. They vicious with it. <laughs> it's, it's it's all about collaboration, ain't it? Because I mean, you know, I know everybody don't want to just keep hearing me all the time. You know, they want to just keep hearing me. You know, so I could only. I can only paint a picture with you know so much detail, but on a nice project, some good artists on there for you. Who else? Like you heard the one with uh you heard the one with Ghost. You heard the song, that's the first single off of the album. It's called Youngster. And we, you know, we're rapping about the ins and outs of the game, you know, the choices the youngsters make. And um, you know what I'm saying? That that's the one that that we pushing right now. Is it's, it's called Youngster. And that's, and, you know, and, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, you make sure you go and you, you tune into that one there. And we're go, we're definitely we're definitely going to be having a selection uh, that's going to be coming in on 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 his behalf inside of these edits. Now now, as far as as far as uh, as far as goals now, like it seems like you're touching so many of them. It seems like you 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 you've, you've uh, done a lot of things, you know. What 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 more goals do you have? What other goals do you have currently? Well, right now, what I need to do, one of my goals is to get in this logo. I need to make my mark with it. Okay, I need to make my mark. And get some t-shirts and you know, get some keychains and get some little merchandise that's going around. Little cup, little water jug bottles, and you know, some merchandise with it, so that it'll become a household name. So that way, people, you know what I'm saying, and word of mouth, people be like, what is, what is this? Oh, this is my boy Dane in the music. Check it out. 
And you know what I'm saying? When hard hit ENT is in their face, you know, they'll be able to relate to it because you know, just go just, just search it up for it, listen to it. At, at the, all you need to do is smoke one blunt, sit down, smoke a blunt, just trip off of it. You listen to one song off of one blunt, you're like, oh, this, I can rock with this shit. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Hard hit LLC. You know, tell them, subscribe to me right now on YouTube. It's hard hit LLC. Ladies and, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you go on there. I, and it's, uh, it's not in the description box right now, uh, but I'm going to be going back and and fixing and fixing um, the, the description. Actually, Debbie Lynn TV said, how do I find you on Facebook? Uh, Dane Williams. Uh, it's, um, Dane Williams, a great Dane. It, it should pop up. Uh, I'm actually going to take the link. Um let me close out of here, ladies and gentlemen, and we're actually going to take a stroll down memory lane, and we're going to check out his page, uh, Dane Williams, and I'm actually going to share it with you all. So you all Thanks. come down on memory lane with me, and we do have some music here that we can play and select. Um, so actually, give me one second, and we're going to pow. Share the screen. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're trying to talk to me in the chat room, I won't be able to chat back to you uh, because we're going to be checking out this page. So, here goes the screen share. And water boom, water break. And we're here. Here's the page that you're going to want to go to. We're not friends yet on here. But this is where you all are going to want to go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is going to be a great, great place for you to be able to, to – sorry, to, to get – in contact with him. Make sure you come over here. Message him. Um, and look here, we have music. Um, cold. I just had it right now too. A cold, a cold nigga. Oh yeah. The time yeah. machine. Kind of made me the think about. Kind of made me. Kind of made me think about Big Crit. <laughs> All right, look, we're friends here. Let me let me actually refresh, so we can get a better better look inside his world here, and we are friends now. So you see how, quick, yeah, see how quick that worked, ladies and gentlemen. You send him a friend request, you get with him. He's gonna make sure to connect back with you. But we're gonna um, we're gonna play this song right here. Hopefully, I don't get flagged. <laughs> if I do, ah, well, I'm shop. about to add you in the group right now. All right, sweet. sweet, ladies and gentlemen, check out this uh, check out this track, the time machine. A long distance ride with potholes in the road. I got this shit on lock just like a fucking chokehold. Oh, Days a cold nigga. I put the time machine on your see ass when I see you pull up lawn on that dojo. Days a cold nigga. I put the time machine on your see ass when I see you pull up lawn on that dojo. Days a cold nigga. I put the time machine on your see ass when I see you pull up on the floor and dojo. Days a cold nigga. I put that time machine on your see ass when I see you pull up lawn and dojo. Hollering at my folks, still spitting the real. Every day more I spoke some Cadillacs and feels. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you got a little sample there. You got you got a little sample. I'm, I'm pretty sure you want to. I don't I mean you want to get some more, don't it? Look, look, ladies and gentlemen, got another one for you. Gas and mics. Check this oh, yeah. out. Check this out and enjoy it. Aspirin, my style, they keep cramping. But motherfuckers, no great things, cold lamping. You're running out of time, less than a minute less. I rep the west, high slugs for your chest. Do it moving like the skate for Alcatraz. Bitch, you know I'm about this cash on the go fast like flash. They want a real MC, and I am me. That's your average joke, so do the right thing like Spike Lee. Keeping it pump like air, you know I don't care. And bitch ass motherfuckers out there better beware. Gas and mics, I do it all the time, y'all. Can't be a slime. All right, all right, we're gonna stop the screen share. Boom, and I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope that you did enjoy that selection of music. Now, tell us a little bit about uh, what inspired you uh, uh, to do guest mics. Well, when I had first heard that beat, you know what I'm saying, I was like, Yeah, this is it right here because it's definitely that old school West Coast mob feel. Absolutely, and that's by Young Ghost, okay. Young Ghost that's rapping with me on Youngster has sent. That's the the first one to set it off. That's that's how me and him shook hands and, and you know what I'm saying came up with a plan off of that one right there. So that's the first one that we made. He sent me that, that beat to the email, and I just came up. I just delivered a, you know what I'm saying a, a alleyway street corner San Francisco West Coast flow to it, and it, it you know it took off. It took off. If you check the SoundCloud, it already went viral on there. 
got real comments, real hearts, and real likes on it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, that that's one to grow on right there. Yeah, I like I liked I like that old 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 feeling that it had. Now now they say sometimes uh, that good quality music is 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 probably uh, dead and gone. It's almost like uh, saying, "Will we ever hear another Al Green?" Or another BB King, or it's kind of like at the time for that kind of a genre is past and gone. What do you got to say about that? Well, it's like this, man. You know, I, I got a song. It's called "The Time Machine." You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I'm stepping off that motherfucking time machine, delivering it to him. So you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not going far back like Al Green in them, but I will use some of their samples and that music. I'll revive the '90s for us today. You understand me? And I'll mix it with some of this, you know, so I'll blend it with, with the new styles with years old. I got to take it back to, you know what I'm saying, how I was raised. I got to stay and pay homage to the OGs and hip hop, of course. Dig it, dig it. Look, uh, look, look, uh, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, <laughs> Lynn, Debbie Lynn TV says, uh, nice, yeah, nice shirts are, t shirts are nice. I have them myself. So she says that uh, to sell. Uh, merchandise with t-shirts is a good idea. Uh, she said that she, add for her, her name's Debbie Lynn Ratliff. And then... I'll she, add you right now. Send me a request. I'll put you in the group. It's all good. Deb, Deb, Deb. Yeah, so like, uh, so, so again, um, I think, I think that, I think that the value, the value that you have to, to give out to the world is just, it's really, uh, it's really unbelievable because again, like you're you're bringing, uh, I guess, some of the stuff that's forgotten and placing it back in the forefront where it should be seen again. You know, like it's almost like uh, I guess I guess really honestly, plainly to say it that if there wasn't someone like you to put it right back here, then it could get forgotten after a while. Would Would you say so? We just need more brothers to keep pushing that hard line. It's a lot of a lot of artists that, you know what I'm saying, got that voice, they got that game, they got that knowledge and wisdom. They just got to keep putting it out there. They can't just let us just, you know, get brainwashed with that new garbage that they want us to listen to, that they force feeding us. You know what I'm saying? What do you, what do you, what do you, think, what do you think about the uh, clothing the clothing now times, now these kinds of days? Like, like again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm just quite curious. I'm – I'm 28 years old. You you heard his age, um, and for me, you know, it's kind of crazy because at one point in time, it was like, you know, don't sag, quit all the sagging, stop all that. Well, by God, now, now, now they done made the kids wear wear pants that that are so tight to where they can't sag if they wanted to, or it would be bad to do so. So I'm kind of like, <coughs> where the fashion. Is yeah, Somebody but. Like the fashion, it, yeah, the fashion definitely plays a, a role in the music. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the agenda that, you know what I'm saying, the people behind the scenes is pulling us, controlling what we hear and see. You know what I'm saying? They they taking certain products off the merchandise shelf and, and replacing it with, you know, they, they it's all a money a money scam thing. Hey, if you sound and look like Lil Wayne, let's go for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> If, if if it sound like like Lil Wayne and them shit, you know that the the movements is different, you know. Yeah. I can't I, I can't call it, but you know what I'm saying. If if you got a dream about getting your music out there, you got to keep going, one foot in front of the next, one foot in front of the next. You can't let nothing stop you. You can't let nothing stop you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a it's a maze. Yeah. It really is. It really is a maze. Like you won't catch me walking around in no tight ass. Uh, Jeans like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not gonna do it. I, I can't, you know. I, I I wear, I just be wearing this shit like this, like when I came up here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The OG shit that I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? You know how we is out here in the Bay. You know how yeah. we is out here in, in, in uh, this scope. He said we ain't, we ain't gonna be doing. We ain't gonna be doing it. We ain't gonna. Ain't gonna. Now look. Now look. Now tell me. Tell me a little bit what you think about. Um, uh, I guess, I guess again, this might get a little bit deeper. Maybe we might need to save this conversation for later. But conspiracy theorism and 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 oh, there you. so you're you're in with that? Are you hip with that? Do you know much about that stuff there? 
I don't, I mean, it's, it's all a mystery to me too still, but I got people on here inboxing me, asking me, hey, do you want to join the Illuminati? I'm like, negative. You know what I'm saying? Do I want to join? I'm like, like, what do I want to do that for? <laughs> Sitting there to all uh, your dreams and all this to come true and the lifestyle. I'm like, I'm okay. I don't, I don't need no more problems. I already got enough problems with their mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm all right. So just download the album off iTunes is all I'm asking for. <laughs> go, go, to, go, go download the album, ladies and gentlemen. Um, We've been on here for about about an hour, I want to say. Maybe man, you're, you're my brother, man. We're gonna grow. This shit gonna get, get it's gonna, like a wildfire. It's gonna spread. So it ain't it ain't over, man. It just begun. It's 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 getting deep in there, ain't it? Look, I'm gonna, <laughs> here. I'm gonna get infamous lace, telling people to go ahead and learn, you know what I'm saying? That's a youngster, man. That's a young bull. You know what I'm saying? He got some flame. I threw him on the album. Who else on that? I threw Block to the my boy from Vegas is on there, Block to the they call that nigga, you know, it's a Mr. Uh, 16 Bars of Las Vegas. He on that album. We, he on there with me. We got one called Throw Up the West. It's called Throw Up the West. I got me blocked to the eye noodles on there. Shit, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to do it for the people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do it for the people, man. I could, I, man. Look, look, look. I'm, I'm getting ready to hop off here. I got to put these girls down to sleep. But before I get off, what I want to do is I want, I want you to. Ask the audience a question. Any question that you have. If you have a question that you always wanted to hear from, I don't know, the people, <laughs> ask it. And I'm going to edit it down, and this is going to be one of the videos that I send out across the world, and we're going to see what kind of answers we get out of your question. So uh, any question you have before we get off? Um, man, let's see here. Um, what Do you guys think that it's important to have all that singing in the music these days, opposed to just the old grimy style that we used to. You know, do do you prefer the singing more over the um, tracks, or you just like the hardcore rugged flows that we used to come with back in the nineties, without all the singing and harmonizing? It? You know, just is that a good question? Is, is yeah, that I, question? Th I think that's a good question. Would you would do you like do you would you rather have? Real quick, it came off the top of the head. I didn't know what kind of question to ask. So, do you prefer more of the singing with the melodies and the harmonizing, or just the raw, rugged, steel toe raps like Wu Tang Clan kicking in the dough type shit? You, you know what I mean. Uh, I think I think I think that's a great question. Which 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 style do you prefer? <laughs> that's what we'll name that one. Which style do you prefer? Tell the ladies and gentlemen again where they can follow you. Tell them again where they can get the album, and uh, and 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 tell tell them tell them. Uh, the name of the album. Let fill them back in again. Okay, it's, I'm on all of them sites. You know, so if, if you're looking for me on Instagram, is what is that shit? Uh, Great Dane Hard Hit. Okay, it's on Instagram. It's Hard Hit with two T's. Okay, Great Dane Hard Hit. You can find me on Twitter. It's at the Great One. Okay, it's on Twitter. You know, so a lot of the people that heard my music, man, they they biting and chopping it up. They be biting and chopping it up. So. You'll hear my music, and then you'll hear that, and you'll be like, did they ain't steal that, or did they steal that from – no, they stole that shit from me. <laughs> right. <laughs> For real. They stole that shit from me, and they flipping it and flopping it. And, but, yeah, just tune in on, on – um, what is the other one? On Facebook, you can find me on Dane Williams, okay? Dane Williams, or just go hit the like page and Great Dane. It's say Great Dane, and you'll see a picture of me with the mic rocking out on the stage. You know what I'm saying? We did a few shows and shit. And uh, what else? On, on YouTube, just type in Hard Hit LLC. Because it's a little company out here, LLC, Limited Liability Company. You type in Hard Hit LLC and it'll all pop up. You know what I'm saying? You can check out from me to my little brother to all the other artists, the, the producers I have, like the Filthy Animals, my boy Maurice the Moose, the Renegade Beats. You know what I'm saying? He came through and helped me out with a few tunes, you know what I'm saying? A few tracks and shit. Whoever you want, you know, so just tune in, man. It's links, and we'll all branch out and connect and grow together. And again, and again, ladies and gentlemen, I do want you all to know we do plan on doing this again. Um, we're actually going to start having a group of a whole group of people on and doing conversations with lots and lots and lots of people all at one same time. I, I'm not sure. Just one, just one, one, one second, one second, ladies and gentlemen. One.
All right, I'm sorry. I had to I had to I had to do something real quick. Um, but again, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be doing this again. We're gonna be having conversations that are going to open you up. It may not just be about music, it may just be about anything you don't know. We're gonna be discussing powerful topics. Um uh and and and, and I think that it's going to uh leave you wanting more. Uh it's gonna leave you all wanting to get in tune more. Again, like I said, I'm gonna be putting the links in the description for you all to go and follow. Um, they're not in there right now because this was kind of like a spare at the moment thing. Let me jump this on. Let's see how it went down. You know what I mean? It was. You know what I'm saying? But hell yeah, we pulled it off. And thanks to y'all who tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Really, though, we appreciate the support because without y'all, they know us. Yeah. Really, though. And bring more of y'all people to join in. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you got to tell your peoples about us so we can get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? Bring more people, have them sign up, have them, you know what I'm saying, tap in. And tune on, you know, shit, man, for real, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Montez McKenna from com. I hope that you all have enjoyed this interview. Like I said, there's going to be more, and uh, we're going to be growing, and uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, that you're going to need to uh, hold on to. So make sure you go to both YouTubes that are going to be in the description. Go to both of them, subscribe. Content's going to be pressed up and going to be pressed out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Montez McKenna from itsmontez.com. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't do that, you're not going to be able to keep up. Duh. Thank ah. you. So much.